In today's video, we check out the crazy side of police traffic stops. From this... No hell, I'm gonna take every one of your damn friends to jail. To this... Get out! Get out the f***ing yeah, Get out the car! These cops learned some brutal lessons, one of them costing $25 million. I'm Nick, and today I'll be taking over for Stewie. Let's get into it. First up, this cop pulls this innocent civilian over for following his patrol cruiser too closely. The cop takes it personally and gets his feelings hurt because this concerned father was no push. I'm recording. I'm recording too. I asked you a simple question. If you have a attitude, you a that's your problem. You okay? Running on my door. Yeah, you saw me and you rolled you your window up I when I came. Traffic. Stop Hold on a second, right. okay? No. You rolled your window up no, when I, I walked care. up, I don't okay? Care. So I knocked on your window, stop. okay? You You're not a cop. Over. You don't need to be I behind you. Okay? You're not a cop, says Lieutenant Trujillo. In other words, you don't have the special privileges and immunities that we have. So you need to leave no, right I now. No, I don't need to do anything. You I'm got on a five public seconds street. to leave. Okay, there's no reason for you to be behind this traffic stop. No reason. I'm okay. On a public street. No reason. Okay. It's not a public. No street. reason was okay. I'm not paying okay. Do you always stop road? behind cops when they pull people over? I ain't stopped right behind you. Okay, you don't need to be here. I ain't. You don't need right to be here. Me, okay, sir. you need to go. No, I okay. don't. I'm waiting on my son. All right, He's fine. Right back. The father's life is threatened when following a direct instruction given from this cop. This is what happens when cops feel entitled and they think they're above everyone. Things get out of control. Okay, you don't need to be here. I ain't you don't need right to be here, me, okay? Sir. You need to go. No, I okay. don't. I'm waiting on my son. Right, He's my right back to Wilson. Leave. Leave. That's the part. Can st stay. 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 Hey, stop. Stop. Get the car. Get the Get out the car! What are you gonna do? You gonna SC file, SC file, give me that radio. Get out the car! 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 Stop it now! Get out the car! 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 Stop it now! Now! Stop it now! Get out now! Get out! Get out of the car! Now! Get out of the car! Hey, Nate, do you see this? Car! Do you see this? Get out of the car! Do you see this? Are you recording? Yeah. Yeah, we're recording it. Yeah. What the hell do you think you're doing? I ain't doing anything. Okay. Now you're on a traffic stop. Control has nothing to do with anything. Okay, they don't have jurisdiction over us. Get out of the car your no. no. I got my truck. I don't give a Put it in park. I just did, pal. Don't pull away from me. I'm not. You're going to get lit up. I'm not. Okay, you're going to get lit up. Next up, we have a screaming and yelling cop in Connecticut. Is this really the way to handle these situations? Things don't end too well for this cop. Officer James Hinkle was stationed at an intersection in Waterbury after a mechanical issue caused the traffic light to malfunction. A woman in an SUV seems to drive right past Officer Hinkle. He appears enraged by it and chases her down to pull her over. You almost ran over an officer standing in the middle of the street. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize what was going on. That was very confusing. It's a bright yellow jacket standing in the middle of the street. What don't you understand? The town's police chief says he doesn't condone this type of behavior. We are looking to gain trust from the citizens in our community, uh, not belittle them, uh, not berate them, or not scare them. Hinkle, who was on the force for seven years, was terminated as a result of an internal affairs investigation that determined his conduct, actions, and behaviors were in violation of departmental policies, the police department said. Pull in the parking lot! In a statement, the Waterbury Police Union said it is aware that Officer Hinkle was terminated on January 9th, 2023 and is currently reviewing the internal affairs report. Moving on, this police officer has been fired after yelling at a 17-year-old teenager and trying to fight him during a traffic stop. Uh, yeah, come on back here with me, Mr. Burke. Yes, sir. Mr. Bird. Yes, sir. I'm going to ask you one time. How long you had your license? Over six months. Over six months. So everybody, you're good to haul everybody around there, okay? Yes, yes sir. I'm going to ask you one time. Yes, sir. All right? If you don't, we're going to go another route with it. Who yelled out of your Jeep when you went by us? It was Brandon. 
Who? Brandon. Which one's Brandon? In the front seat. Got the Jeep. What'd you have to say? Nothing. No, tell me one more time you're going to jail, son. What's your name? Brandon Hughes. Brandon Hughes. Yes, I know who you are. Yes, Is there something you need to say to us that you want to yell out the window? No, sir. Who are you yelling at? Hey, look at me when you talk to me, son. Who are you going to yell at? What'd you say? F the police. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. You're sorry. Get your hands out of your pockets. Why you want to say that to the police? I don't know y'all protect us. I shouldn't have. No, I ain't protecting you. All valid. Yes, sir. F the police. Why? You can get back. Why do you want to F the police, son? I don't. Why you say it then? You think it's going to make you a badass or something no, in front sir, of everybody? No, sir, I don't because I'm getting fussed out right now. You want to fuck the police? No, sir, well, here I, I am right I here, brother. I don't want to. Why not? You're a tough guy. Come on. I'm not tough. Huh? I'm not tough. You seem like a little baby the day you was in court, remember? Yes, sir. I'm giving you every opportunity. No, sir. Then why you want to yell about it when you're in front of your buddies right there? Is it cool? No, sir. You, you trying to be a badass in front of them? No, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. I'm giving you every opportunity yes, to f*** me up. You understand? Yes, sir. Now let me ask you this. What have I ever done to you? Nothing at all. Not a damn thing. Yes, what has my partner ever done to you? Not a thing. Not a damn thing, right? Yes, sir. So why do you want to f*** the police? I don't. I was being dumb. Now it's a little bit more than being stupid is what I think. Ignorant. So do you, let me ask you something. Next time you get caught selling weed or having weed on you, do you think somebody's going to try to cut you a break? If I go to goddamn jerk and everybody out that damn Jeep and I find one ounce of damn weed, do you think I'm going to take everybody to jail? Yes, sir. No, sir. Just me. No, hell, I'm going to take every one of your damn friends to jail. Yes, sir. How old are you? Six, seventeen. I didn't know y'all could be so good anymore. Everybody get out of the Jeep. Yes, sir. You want to see how big of a damn po police is going to be? I'm fixing to show you. I'm fixing to search every damn one of you and every damn ounce of this Jeep. Now, so help me God, if I find one damn seed, every damn one of you is going to go to jail because of police, son. Yes, sir. 17, can you 25 with me up at Checkers? Up here, checker. We now have Clifford Owensby, a paraplegic man who was supposedly leaving a drug house when some very poorly trained police officers brutally pulled him over. Car. Get out of the car. So you can I'll cooperate and get out of the car. You I'll drag you out of the car. Do you see your two options here? I know I got right, sir. I would like for you to call okay. your wife, sir. I will. Get out of the car. 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 I know I'm paraplegic, bro. You can hurt me, bro. What are y'all doing, bro? I'm a bro. I'm trying to tell you that I got help getting in the car. Y'all can hurt me. They can hurt me, bro. Get out of the car. I'm a paraplegic. You have to go. Get out of the car. Somebody help! Somebody help! Somebody help! Somebody help! So all y'all recording this? Somebody help! I'm a paraplegic! They are doing the hard thing to me! Somebody please help me! Stop! 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 You are hurting me! Stop! I'm a paraplegic! Stop! Stop! I'm a paraplegic! Stop! I'm a paraplegic. Stop! Make this worse than these things. I'm a paraplegic. I gave y'all everything. That's fine. I gave y'all everything y'all asked for. Cooperate. Can y'all call the real police, please? Can y'all call the real police, please? Ow! You make it so much harder than what it has to be. You make it so much harder than what it has to be. I'm a f***ing 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 f***ing
Next up, we have the League City Police and the interaction that may cost them $25 million in a lawsuit that was filed against these officers as they wrongfully arrest these innocent parents in front of their children for absolutely no reason. Okay. Didn't read us our rights. Didn't have to. Really? Okay, I didn't know you could be arrested with that. This chat with the police chief is in reference to this piece of footage. I mean, what I did. You have a warrant out for your arrest for, for interference with public uh, no, no. By Officer Trocia say to the point where she called me, I asked him on the phone as I was in El Campo 90 miles away, this occurred on September 2nd, that he either provide a warrant or I would take this up with the police chief the next day. This couple were never read their rights or given proof of a warrant. Let us know in the comments below if you would like an update on this case. This officer pulls over his daughter and her boyfriend and abuses his authority by threatening her boyfriend while on duty. You can get out. What? You're going to jail. What? Get out. What? I've seen my car. We'll make shit up as we go. This officer gets fired for overreacting when he aimed his weapon at a civilian for something as little as a seatbelt violation. The activists say a police officer crossed the line when he took out his weapon during a traffic stop for a seatbelt violation. The driver's family telling us they're grateful nobody was hurt, but now they want to know why did things escalate so quickly? Tanya Mendez has been digging into those questions. She joins us with these details. Rock Hill officer Cameron Kirby smiling with an award recently named one of the officers of the year for traffic safety. But community activists say a traffic stop last week cost Kirby his badge. Quickest officer I've ever seen fired. So. Activist John C. Barnett says he got a frantic call from a longtime church member. Apparently he was pulled over for a seatbelt. The man, Denzel Dunham, right up the street from his mother's house on his lunch break. When the officer pulled him over, he pulled into his mother's driveway. Barnett says Officer Kirby hopped out with a gun. And he gets out of the car, turns around, and the cop um, literally points the gun at him. Barnett says Dunham was stunned. So Denzel kind of says some choice words like, you know, D-A-M, man, why are you, why are you, um, pulling the gun out on me. Barnett says Officer Kirby grabbed Dunham, then tried to claim Dunham was trying to punch him and resisting. Kirby arrested him and charged him with disorderly conduct. Dunham's mother on the porch watched the entire exchange, and so did the officer's body camera. When the chief watched it, Barnett says... He said he tried to look for a small inch of justification on why he did what he did. He said he couldn't find no centimeters. 